All right. Hello everyone, this is King DZ here, and I'm here today to show you a little quick system I made here. Uh, I've actually used it for a long time, but it's an automatic garage door system, which is designed for you to use as many garage doors as you want, with a minimum amount of setup and electricity and all that stuff. So basically, first of all, we've got a we need a reliable power source on this end. Um, it uses not not 40 power, not not nearly enough 40 power. It uses 12 power. So you'll want 12 power, reliable power. Um, two of it goes to this timer here. Oh, that's what it does, by the way. Uh, two of it goes to a counter, not a timer. The, um, three of it goes to a blocker. The rest goes to this timer here. The timer is split. Two power from the branch goes into the side of this boy. Um, and the rest goes into increment up on the counter. The power out of the blocker goes into the toggle timer and that creates a constant loop. Um, I, I usually have it set to 60 seconds. Um, value for pass through however many minutes if you have it set to 60 seconds, however many minutes you want it to close after after not seeing you. Um, for here I'm using a little pressure pad. Um, it opens just when you walk over it. Stays open until this boy reaches his target, which is three minutes if you're not using the 10 second timer. But, and bam. So usually that would be much longer. So that works by, well, we need more power here, actually. You can have as many doors as you want on this system, actually. It's actually one of the best parts about this thing, is you just put in the power here. Um, you give seven power to each of these guys. That means six to two per door and this guy uses one and needs one power to actually activate so seven per splitter you can just keep going and going and going and you feed just as much power into it as you need you can have as many as many as like multiple hundreds of garage doors which is actually obscene and I'll um I'll go into a little bit more detail I'll replicate this system um on a real base or a mock real base and show you exactly how you can make it work so it's very simple, this just connects to the door. And when you activate the uh, cleared counter, by the way, that's what that's hooked up to, it will um, open all the doors for you and then automatically close whenever you want. Well, by itself, not whenever you want, but you want to understand. So I'll see you in a minute for demonstration. All right, back in a little example base. Um, Here's the setup, same as last time, except still using the generators in place of real uh, power systems. There'll be more tutorials soon for power systems on my channel, don't you worry about that. But anyways, I've divided the system into a couple of basic components. So the power distribution, the timing, the logic, the detection, um, and the distribution. So I'll give a little demonstration first. Um, this is, it's not, it's not actually, um, I, I was in there testing it a moment ago, so it should close in a moment, and then I can demonstrate it for real. Come on now. Faster. This is on the one minute timer, so it does take three entire minutes for it to close. Um, in the meantime, what loot have I got back here? I forgot. Oh. Did I shrunk? Oh no, it's just my bleach. Okay, gotta love that stuff. Anyways, the doors are closed, now I can demonstrate it. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen in a moment. Uh, the power system gives power to HBHS, which are behind this wall, and there's one by the entrance. They go into AND gates, which are also powered um, from the power system. One input on the AND comes from power, the other comes from the output. Because uh, they only give one power, it'll actually get used. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you're going into an AND gate first with some more power coming in the other direction. And then it goes into an OR, which resets the timer, just the same as the pressure pit in the last room. Anyways, I walk into here, HBF just sees me, all the doors open, and I can run straight through. I have plenty of time to dilly-dally. I have three entire minutes. You can choose however long you want it to be. And then it resets again as soon as I get to this end here. And then I can have my base exit all safe and sound.
Now, this is only really useful for very large spaces, and obviously I've used quite a lot of doors here to get the effect, but the, the minutes are still ticking. It's barely been like 30 seconds, so that you actually have plenty of time to get through here. Um, and you could even increase it if you wanted to, or decrease it. I would recommend decreasing it. This is just here so you can see. Um, anyways, let me show you all the wiring. Uh, you can pause the video here, or slow it down, so you can see all the wiring. I'll go over um, all the settings for all the things. Wow, that's some weird shadows. Let's put a roof over this real quick. Gotta grab wood. I don't know what's causing those shadows, but it'll probably be easier to see um, this way anyways. And then I'll show you this way. Alright, that should be plenty of time for you to pause. Um, this guy is set to 12, 4, 8, and 5. And he has no outputs at all. Uh, for all these, the, brand, uh, the power outs are running into the next one. And the branches are going where they're going. Um, so, for instance, the so 12 power is going to here. Where Okay, this is 8. Um, power out goes to this boy. <clears throat> who goes to the timer. He go, this goes to the bottom of this uh, this breaker here, and it's two. Wonder why the lights weren't on there. So that's this is the repeating timer circuit. The um, branch goes into the increment, or goes into the decrement. Pass through values three. You can set it to whatever you want. Same with the timer. The lower the value for the timer, the more precise it'll be. It doesn't really matter though. I found that like two minutes and ten seconds to like three minutes and 50 seconds, it's not a big deal. Um, if you get deeped on, you can have these guys, uh, the HPHS, set to not detect others. That's actually a very, very good idea. You don't want people just walking into your base. Um, all of these here are set to 7. Uh, the splitter takes 1, sends 2 to each of the doors. The uh, the um, the door opener takes 1 and then passes the, the last remaining one to the door. So I'm using about 50 power, almost exactly, or like 40, 40, no, 57 power for, I believe it's 24 doors. So however much power you have available to you, uh, whether you've got wind turbines or not, it's, it's, your base will be big enough to where you can, you'll have enough power on the roof, especially on bigger bases. And smaller bases can just use battery power, um, for the night time. Uh, that seems to be it. I'll do one more demonstration. This thing is slow. 10 seconds. There we go. So this will give me 30 seconds because it'll clear and then every 10 seconds. I could probably even walk through it just to be on time. But probably not going to do that. So it takes me about 10 seconds to run through all these. Imagine how long it would take for you to open every single garage door in this line and close it again. This is a massive help for big bases, especially where, there, where there's garage doors weaving around honeycomb, uh, especially like one of the designs that Mike the Viking featured. Um, that was my design these, these guys. I used, um, I believe it was 24, no, it was 27 doors. Uh, in that design, and you could run through very fast, and it was very efficient. You didn't have to open any doors, really, uh, aside from the very outer one and one of the inner ones, just to kind of airlock people. Because you do, you do want to make sure that um, the system is secure. Like, be absolutely sure to exclude others. Um, you may even want to use... Um, uh, walled TC just to make sure that nobody gets auth on TC who doesn't want it because once they get auth on TC they have access to the system um, usually people blow out the system they're like wow look at this electricity rocket and once that happens if uh, the only exception if they rocket if they see for this piece here all the doors open um, if power is still on so it's important to remember 
uh, to have a kill switch while you're offline. Make sure that those power systems aren't working, because if they are, then they could be exploited um, by the raiders, which is not a very good thing, and you could just... Bam. And these will close just uh, as of how I did it. They open first. So, yeah, and then you can just hook it up in the morning again. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't be using test generators. You'd be using batteries or something similar. And then you can walk out of that airlock, have everything open up, and you can have a happy life. Nice, easy wipe. Don't have to open doors all the time. How cool is that? <laughs> Anyways, this has been King D to the LC. See you all next time with some more practical electricity.